Let's get a sound check. Q talent. I'd like to thank all the viewers for tuning in to Mark on Mike in the new and improved version, Corey and Yannick show. I'm sure most viewers, we'll, I'm sure we'll probably get a, a lot more views now. I don't know where Mark is. You know, he, I guess he's uh, too much of a big shot for us. He wins Breeders' Crown and we are missing Mark actually. I wonder where he's at. But um, um, we all really enjoyed beating, beating him all, all of last winter. One thing I have noticed without rocking Ronald McDonald here, it's eerily quiet. No stories, nobody yapping back there. It's pretty quiet, pretty chill, pretty chill. This horse here, he, he wasn't right last week. He, um, you know, he'd be right there. He finished second, so it was not horrible, but I think he's a little bit better than that. But I'm gonna try to have a helmet for him today. Um, you know, we'll see how he goes behind the gate. Ideally, um, you know, instead of two all behind, maybe Cinder Michelle would be great, but uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen. But um, I really want to not have him on the front or first up if I can help it. So we'll see how, how the race shakes out. I'm going to turn and score this one down a little bit. He's got the shoes off today, so. He's scoring the gown good. He feels good. Now I got to go find Yannick so we can talk s on Mark. Where's Mark anyway? Probably on the couch drinking. Do what? I said he's probably on the couch having a beer right now. <laughs> or a dozen. Well, he's definitely not on the phone because it's Leah's turn to have the phone. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, we. You can elaborate on that if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> You'll probably park me for like three months if I say that out loud. <laughs> Mark and his wife share a phone, so he has to he has to schedule in time to use it. And we we hey, have group texts going. We just absolutely torture him. When he doesn't respond, we're like, oh, I guess it's Elias turn out the phone. I mean, she she stopped him from playing fantasy hockey with us because you know he took too much time on the phone. Yeah, he was yeah. taking time away from her time. Exactly. You know? He was no, he's, he's not going playing over fantasy his hockey time. anymore. How about I was talking about how quiet it is here? Yeah, he's not here. That's why. My God. Oh, rocking Ronald McDonald. They say he's here for qualifiers tomorrow. Oh, he is. Oh, yeah. That's good. We should have done Mike on the qualifier. You'd probably lose that one, too. <laughs> that Three actually would have been good. Yeah. Yeah, they should have mic'd him up in the qualifiers. No pressure. And put, King the Nord, put King of the Norton in the qualifier. He'd get beat. <laughs> if he's mic'd up, I mean. Guy, could you imagine if they mic'd up on King of the North? Oh, f I think he would have a heart attack. <laughs> but we do miss him around here though and it'd be nice if he was here like like i was saying earlier we just like beating him you know i mean these mic'd up races we need somebody to set the pace you know <laughs> well there's plenty of you people. can't you can't cut all of them i like to have mcdonald around because <laughs> he wants to cut half of them then you yeah. can cut the other half <laughs> well i have been cutting that minute i was saying that earlier <laughs> When I, at the when I was warming this horse up, there's a lot of speed lately, you know? A lot of guys, young kids, <laughs> aggressive. I think I would have been on the front once tonight. You were just on the front in there, half of 57. Yeah, that was, no. <laughs> that's the only time. And they're off in Turrotting Batista and Takoa falls away together with Lifetime Royalty and a Memo from the inside as they fan across the track, five, six wide. And Miss Muscle cuts the corner. They're four wide right now as uh, Batista sweeps up on the outside with Takoa Falls challenging. And Memo and Lifetime Royalty fourth and on the move now. Miss Muscle back to fifth past the quarter. Then comes Amador off the uh, dueling leaders in Cindy Michelle. Well, this didn't work out the way I wanted it to. We didn't get out of there as good as I hoped. A little left line. Now 
Texas horse is pretty keyed up here, so we're gonna have some hot fraction to chase, but I'm not sure that's a good thing. A little too close to the fire here. Then for 28 and one second quarter with to call fall second. We're going along pretty good, we'll give him a shot. Stride for stride with Miss Muscle on the rail from the rear of the field. Cindy Michelle third over in a stalled flow here. And then it's Amador locked in at the back. It is lifetime royalty. Poised to strike is to call falls. Ed. I'm running in there. Come on. Hey. Come on, old boy. Hi. Yeah. I think this was the mark effect. This horse should have won, but I think it's the weight of all of his weight was on my shoulders. Pretty heavy, actually.